Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Souders, Slunger Cat Outdoors, back with you again this morning. And today, we're going to be hitting Greenup Dam, doing a little bit of moon eye fishing while the catfish are on spawn. This makes the perfect time to get your freezer stocked up for that summertime bite. So let's get to it, quit wasting time, and start putting some bait in the freezer. Okay, so one of the most important parts of this is making sure that you guys got plenty of ice. Ice is a huge thing, but this morning we're going to make up a slurry uh, before we go down over the hill start catching bait. So I like to take an old cooler like this, we're going to break up the ice. And I'm going to fill this cooler about halfway, halfway full of ice. maybe a little bit more. Then we're going to take our salt. Now this is this is mix and feed fine salt from Tractor Supply. It's just a non-iodized uh, salt. We're just going to sprinkle it on top of that. Make a big coating. This is probably about uh, three and a half pounds or so in this jar. And I use about half of it so we're looking about a pound and a half, two pounds of salt. Just a good coating on top of it. And then once we get down over the hill, we'll add water to that and mix it all up. this water to it here. It's going to be super cold. Just want enough water where you can kind of mix everything up. Stick your Oh, that's cold. Stick your hand down in there. And that's going to kind of just flash freeze them, flash kill them. Make it that much more better of a bait for you. Let's see if this is what we're after. Yeah, there we go. Small one. We'll put him straight into that brine solution. There we go. Now this morning I'm using mealworms. See right there. Now if we start catching too many of those small ones, I've got some crickets that I'll put on as well, but I'd rather use these mealworms if I can. That's just a small gold hook. Small little pinch sinker, about a sixteenth of an ounce. And what I consider about the most important part of this is this float. Just an old style uh, spring float. Fishing about three foot deep. Now as you guys heard me say, I believe that these floats are really one of the most important parts of this whole rig in catching moon eye. Moon eye can be very finicky in how they bite. So having the proper float to be able to detect those small bites 
or those big bites, no matter what they are and how they're biting, makes a big difference. For instance, if you got lead, if you got enough lead on this, this will stand that float up like that. Well, a lot of times those moon eye will not pull the float under. This float will actually fall sideways, maybe just a little bit. But having a old spring style float like this will help you detect those really light bites. And then like always, whenever you get a big one on, he's gonna pull it under and it's gonna be a definite bite. But those little bites where they just flip that over, that flow to fall down. And you gotta be prepared for bites like that too. So let's get back to it. Cast it out there on that seam line. That seam line that goes down through here is kind of what you guys wanna look for. And we're just gonna let it rest right on that seam line until we find where they're at. And then once we find where we're at, we can target that specific area. But you wanna look for little coils, uh, just anything that's a little bit calmer water where the two waters meet. slight bump out there you can just barely barely feel it there we go that's a tiny 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 one too small The longer you guys can keep that float in that one area, the better you'll be. Just gonna keep that float right there where them two come together. Every once in a while I like to give it a little twitch. Sometimes that'll get them to Come up and grab it. I'm gonna open these crickets up. All right, let's try one of these crickets. Now, these things are. Hard to catch. I'm just gonna hook them right through the head and right out through the bottom of them, just like that. Put him in that brine too. And what that does, that just basically just really shocks their system. When it's hot like this, it don't take long for them things to start decomposing and the quicker you can get their body temperature down, the better off you are. Woo! When crickets are jumping, they know they're about to be moon eye bait. I started fishing for moon eye uh, early mornings like this are real good for the moon eye bite and then later in the afternoon or evening uh, sometimes with these locking dams you can catch them all day but early mornings are best Yeah. 
downside to this is that it is public fishing and it normally gets pretty busy. This is a Saturday morning while I'm here and I got, I got here really early before daylight. There are a lot of people that catfish. There is a lot of people that want good fresh bait. That salt water solution from Brime just really helps keep that bait fresh. Now, I don't like, like I said, I don't like to leave it in there real long. I don't want them getting hard, super hard. I just want them, basically, I want it to shock their system. Now, as you all know, I'm one of those types of guys that do not like to use frozen bait. I'm the type of guy that likes to use the freshest bait I possibly can. Now, this is one of those exception times. Moon Eye is one of the very few, and there's really only three baits that I'll actually put in a freezer uh, to use for other times. But Moon Eye is right there on top of my list. I do not mind to use it frozen, nor do I mind to put it in the freezer uh, to use for a later date. Now, as you all know, or if you don't know, Moon Eye is a very mushy bait. Uh, don't let that deter you from using it after it's been in the freezer. It is soft, it is kind of mushy, but I think that is one of the things that make it such a great bait. You may have to change baits more often if you put it in the freezer and use it frozen or thawed out, but do not hesitate to catch you some, put it in the freezer, and use it at a later date. It's amazing bait, especially this time of year, hot summertime. Let's get back to it. Now, this is probably one of the easiest places to catch catfish bait. You don't have to have a boat. Real close to the bank. Most dams are like this. There you go, folks. Another moon eye. I'll put this in a cooler. I'm gonna stick around and finish filling up coolers, but I wanna thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this helps you guys catch more and bigger fish by having the freshest bait you possibly can. Until next time, tight lines, God bless. Keep it real in the water.